Hey, this is the Swedish Guitar Nerd and you're watching Nerd News. In this week's episode of Nerd News, I'm covering the theme death of physical guitar stores, question mark. Because this week, for sound, the only remaining chain that sells musical instruments closed all their stores in Sweden. And the reason uh, they gave was that they couldn't keep up with the online market, basically. And I, I think that's true. It was quite obvious. So, uh, yeah, what remains now are... Uh, in a few big cities there remains a few independent guitar stores but that's it and i think this theme goes all over all over the world uh, so feel free to leave a comment about how the market is in your country where you live because i know i have a lot of viewers that aren't from sweden so what happened in Sweden was uh, we have this big giant in Germany called Tormand, uh, which is, well, they're concentrated on uh, online sales. Basically, that's what they do. And uh, since they have, a, yeah, they have sell a, a lot of guitars and a lot of musical instruments, they can also buy a lot of guitars and musical instruments and also, as a result, keep their pro prices really low. And, uh, well, smaller stores or chains aren't able to keep up with that. Um, and is this a bad or good thing? Uh, I guess if you're living now and if you've just started playing guitar, this is the reality for you. You don't know anything else. Um, but for me, I can name a few things that uh, I'm thinking about. Because if you want to try several guitars now, and you don't have a million dollars or euros or anything. Uh, you have to buy one guitar, get it in the mail, try it out. If you don't like it, send it back, get the next guitar. And uh, the concept of, concept of comparing guitars isn't really available at all, I would guess. Because the thing is, when I go used to go to a guitar store, I wouldn't just A, B. I would A, B, C, D, E. I will compare several guitars before i made my purchase it's like okay that's better than that one this has this that that one doesn't have and the thing of picking up a guitar actually playing it feeling it seeing how it reacts and what it awakens what kind of emotions it awakens in you it's you can't really predict that by looking at pictures but of course looks are a big thing but there is something to picking up a guitar and actually playing it. So that's one of the things. Another thing is what will happen when there's just one store left? Because that's the thing that's happening, at least in my part of Europe. Because what will happen is we will have this one giant size <laughs> musical instrument store online that has complete monopoly. What will happen to the prices then? one wonders will they still keep them super low or would they want to make more money well it's a business i will think it will be the latter <sighs> well who knows a lot of uh, guitar manufacturers have actually started doing or directing their sales towards online sales as well. Well, the big giants Fender and Gibson are, of course, doing this already. You can buy the guitar straight from them. Uh, for some reason, reason, it's usually more expensive to buy them straight from them. I don't know why that is. But everyone seems to be tilting towards online sales. Good or bad? I don't know. Is it bad for you? Do you think it's bad? Do you think it's good for you? Please leave a comment. And again, please tell me about how it is in your country or your part of the world, how things differ. Because I went, for instance, I went to Japan last year. I didn't see this there. There seems to be a lot of smaller stores there still. And uh, even though, of course, online sales of musical instruments exist there, somehow they have managed to keep the stores as well. 
But yeah, leave a comment. Feel free to leave a comment and tell me about your situation in your part of the world. Okay, this has been the Swedish Guitar Nerd and this week's episode of Nerd News. If you have some kind of product or some kind of theme that you want me to cover in Nerd News, feel free to write me on this address or leave a comment and I'll see you soon. Bye.